And this would be a good day for it. Uh, highs in the low 60s and sunshine. So Perfect. come on now. Get outside. <laughs> Get out there. It's Earth Day. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, now, it is a cold start to the day. We'll talk about that. But look at that. You can just see the sky starting to brighten up. We've got a ridge of high pressure down to the southwest. You've got a cold front on the move. So for today, what you see is what you get, and that is a lot of sunshine. Then eventually this cold front will drop in here. So tomorrow we'll see a gradual increase in cloud cover and a shot of some rain, although it's going to be the most robust across Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, down to the southwest. And then eventually as it drops south, you'll probably hear some rain on the roof Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, but it'll be falling apart as it pushes southeast. So our southeastern counties will be on the uh, low end of the uh, receiving end as far as uh, precipitation is concerned. Uh, but we're still talking about at least picking some up. Uh, haven't had any in the last 24 hours, obviously. We're still running a slight surplus, almost three quarters of an inch for the month, and we're still running an almost three and a half inch, 3.4 inch surplus for the year. But it is drying out a bit, and we could use a shot of rain. Unfortunately, this round doesn't look to do a whole lot for us. It's going to be the heaviest off of the northwest, and we could be talking a few tenths of an inch to hundreds to trace amounts across our southeastern counties. It'll be dropping off as you head south. And then there's the cold air that I was talking about. We are in the low to mid 30s this morning. It is cold out there, freezing for Danville, Somerset, below it by two degrees in Mount Sterling, at it in Richmond and Flemingsburg, Moorhead as well. It's not only a frost potential, widespread frost potential, a lot of folks are seeing a freeze this morning. So the frost advisory runs through 9 a.m. Those darker blues or freeze warnings off to the north and east. And if you look at our highlights, as far as April's high temperatures are concerned, we've had more above normal days than below normal. 13 above normal days with our peaks in the uh, low 80s. And then, of course, the last couple of days, especially yesterday, back below it. You know, only got in the 50s, 56 yesterday. Well, it looks like we may start to trend back in the other direction. The 6 to 10 day temperature outlook shows getting into late April, early May. Big bullseye of above normal temperatures across much of the deep south and uh, the uh, Midwest there with below normal temperatures out to the west. So late April, early May, as we get closer to Derby, looks like we're going to be warming things back up again. And we're warming things up today, but we're going from the mid 50s yesterday to the low 60s today. Our normal high is 70, so we're still below it, but it'll be an improvement. Sunshine and a pretty nice afternoon. Good day to get out there and go for a hike or just do some yard work. Just go for a walk. Low 40s, mostly clear, not as cold tonight. And then the eight day forecast shows where we're headed and it's a pretty good place if you like it a little warmer. We've got that rain chance Tuesday night, Wednesday. A lot of that will go through overnight, so a lot, a lot of folks may not even notice it. 60s, mid 60s, Wednesday and Thursday after pushing 70 tomorrow. And then this weekend we start to warm things back up again. We could be talking about seeing highs getting close to uh, 80 degrees, if not exceeding it by early next week. You can see those upper 70s to low 80s. So we've got some warmth on the way in addition to the possibility of some scattered showers as you get into the upcoming weekend. So I'll have to also watch out for that potential for some rain uh, to get the weekend rolling.